Why do you need chlorine in your swimming pool? Chlorine is a chemical sanitizer that kills bacteria and organic debris in the water. If you didn't have chlorine in your water, then the potential exists that harmful, serious, and even fatal bacteria can grow in the water. Uh, a lot of people look towards trying to reduce their exposure to chlorine by looking to chlorine alternatives to see what's available. But the reality is, is that chlorine is kind of the lesser of two evils. Uh, chlorine is actually fairly benign, especially in lower doses. Uh, so if you want to reduce your chlorine exposure, you want to maintain levels between one to three parts per million of free chlorine at all times. And that will prevent any harmful bacteria from growing in the water while also minimizing your exposure to a harmful sanitizer. Now, the chlorine is harmful in larger doses and certainly, certainly something that you don't want to have contact with at full strength, but diluted in a swimming pool at one to three parts per million, it's actually quite, it's, it's, it's quite a good idea to maintain those levels. Uh, if you look towards oxidizers uh, or other forms of, um, of pool cleaning agents, they are always missing something. What makes a uh, chlorine sanitizer, a chemical, the ideal, ideal chemical sanitizer to use in pools is because of its ability to build a residual. It also acts as an oxidizer and it acts as an algicide in the water. So chlorine kind of is the, um, the, the one chemical that does everything. You can achieve similar results by mixing and matching other chemical processes as well as things like um, commercial ozone oxidizers or UV systems, uh, but no matter what, they'll be lacking in something, and that's, where, that's what makes chlorine ideal, is it's not lacking in anything. It's able to kill all the bacteria that might be growing in the water. It is something that you can have exposure to without making you sick, um, and it's relatively cost-effective as well. You know, Even something like bromine is a similar chemical sanitizer, but it's five times as much money as chlorine, so uh, that would be a good example as to why chlorine is much more popular than bromine in, in swimming pools. In hot tubs, bromine works a little bit it, uh, better just because of the higher temperatures and higher pH ranges that uh, hot tubs tend to be at. Bromine is more of an ideal sanitizer under those conditions, plus you need a lot less of it because the volume of a hot tub is obviously so much smaller than that of a swimming pool. So it's very understandable to be concerned about chlorine and to want to try to limit your exposure to it, but you definitely don't want to skip out on having it in your pool. Uh, don't buy into the hype that it's a terrible sa chemical sanitizer and it's bad for your health. It's not great for your health. It's, it's, not, it's not good for you necessarily, but it is certainly a lot better for you than swimming in unprotected uh, swimming pool water because the bacteria that grows in swimming pool water can actually kill you if it gets bad enough. So, uh, Definitely keep that in mind. Keep your chlorine levels at one to three parts per million.